As always, in this video, we're gonna cover some amazing Blender tutorials for you to follow. They range from modeling, texturing, geometry nodes, and more. So, in no particular order, we're gonna start with this tutorial from all of 3D tutorials on YouTube, where you will learn about the process of creating this smoke puff simulation in Blender 3.2. This is a short and easy tutorial on how to create the smoke effect. You will start first by creating a quick smoke effect and adjusting the settings until you get that puff animation by using a mix of wind and turbulence force fields. And although the instructor doesn't go into shading and material processes, it is a great start if you want to achieve similar effects. Next up, we're gonna see how to create a trailing wire or a trailing rope using cloth simulation physics in Blender which means when the object is animated, the rope has to follow the object automatically, using cloth simulation instead of frame-by-frame -frame animation, which would be tedious to animate, let alone making it look realistic. And this technique can be used for so many other scenarios. But in this case, you'll be making a wire naturally, following the microphone's movement. The process involves using the pinning function in the cloth simulation settings to keep the wire pinned to your object, and this is definitely a simple and effective technique. Also, Kaizen Tutorials uploaded a video on how to create the product animation through an imaginary speaker product model. Using this setup, he will be highlighting the process of creating multi-camera's modern animation with multiple cuts and all driven by the music and transitions on the beat. In this tutorial, you will understand the main things that involve product animation. First, you will need a product, and for the rest, you will have to check the video to see for yourself. From product animation to modeling a product, my friend YouTube channel on YouTube uploaded a tutorial on how to create this water flask product modeling step-by-step -step guide. First, you will see in real time how to model the shape of the product, set up the camera, and light your scene, as well as applying some materials and rendering the final product. This is a good old modeling tutorial, which is gonna help you a lot about different things. In this one, you will see how to create trees in Blender using the free add-on called M-Tree, which is an add-on that allows you to easily create intricate tree details in Blender using geometry nodes. The tutorial from All The Works YouTube channel will show you the process of using the add-on to build a tree from scratch using the tool by making a trunk first, then creating the branches and leaves. The add-on gives you intense controls over the shape, length, thickness, in addition to branches and much more. You will see how to apply materials and textures to your trees using a hand-painted stylized look, and how to export them as FBX to be imported to Unreal Engine. In this video from Daniel Grove, you will see how to create procedural textures from normal image textures. The workflow revolves around random image formation to create that intricate sci-fi look using multiple passes like color, edge shader, height, and so on, and all of these are just textures that hold details that can be applied across surfaces, buildings, architecture, spaceships, and so on. The effect is very similar to using software like Displacement, which produces highly detailed displacement textures or the popular add-on from two filters called Simple Sci-Fi. But in this tutorial, you will see how to add each texture consecutively one by one. First, you will see how to set up the dual layer materials, how to apply procedural noise to achieve edge wear and normal bumps. Then you can add dirt and erosion, and random colors, and finally scratches and ambient occlusion. From sci-fi stuff to creating cities, in this tutorial by UA Studio Design Academy, you will learn how to create a conceptual city with geometry nodes in Blender. You will learn the workflow process of creating a conceptual, reusable parametric city deformed with high variation. And the technique you will learn can be useful for parametric and conceptual design architecture. The instructor will start first by explaining the workflow and all the building elements you'll be using. Next, you'll set up your grid and instance the plots on which you'll be laying down your buildings. This involves using attribute nodes with weight painting to decide exactly the place where your buildings are gonna be. Next, you will add the roofs and the details, and you will see how you can randomize the building's heights and even see how to add an attractor for height. Still on the topic of geometry nodes, this one is from Joey Carlino about the new features in the new nodes in geometry nodes in Blender 3.3. This one is gonna be mostly talking about the volume cube node and mesh to volume node. Volume cube node, for example, 
generates a volume from scratch by evaluating an input field on every single voxel in rectangular prism. The density field defines an output volume grids at every voxel. The field can only depend on the node position. So basically, you get a cube field with fog, which you can control using the field input, like procedural textures, and you can convert the volume back to a mesh again, which helps you achieve some interesting results if you are making procedural shapes like rocks, or in this case, cheese. The mesh to volume node, on the other hand, as the name suggests, creates fog volumes based on the shape of the mesh. Similar to volume cube node, this one can convert any object into volume, and you will see some of the benefits of using this node, one of which is that it works perfectly in Eevee, and you can use it to rematch your objects and so on. In this one by Ryan King, you will learn how to procedurally apply textures across different objects without the use of UV mapping. This one is very useful if you want to texture multiple objects with different geometries, shapes and sizes at once. The method revolves around using the object texture coordinate instead of the UV output. This way, you can use the box projection in the texture and get a seamless result. This is another great tutorial from Polyfjord on YouTube. As always, with creating intricate automatronic animations inside Blender, and this one is no different. You will see how to model, rig, animate, and render this mechanical creature. This is a 54 minute real time walkthrough on how to create this rig from start to finish. You will start first by modeling the body and the legs and all the joints for the robot. Next, you will see how to apply the AK rig to the model and start to animate the rig to achieve a believable walk cycle and at the end, you will render the whole animation. If you are interested in these tutorials, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.